This is Emperor Haterius, starting up a new game of Monster Hunter World. Grabbing all my equipment for my pre-order and couple other freebies and other things I acquired. What is going on with this hair? I think I like this one more. so much. I'm glad though. Too much is better than too little. Brow type. I, I can pick eyebrows from two sections? What? Oh, the, the, uh, the height, I guess. Or the angling or whatever. Or just do the whole thing. I guess that'll work. Eyes. Those are some fiery eyes there. I guess the default one's fine.
just scars or makeup too. I also got some uh, face painting additions added on too. I like that one. Glossy. Metallic. Ooh, metallic. That's that's pretty cool. I'll go with that. Okay, back to this. Kind of like express expressions too. Yeah, I like expression set too. Clothing. Wait. Oh, you only get to... I guess this one's fine with... the black. Well, that's cool. Oh. 
Default armor. Oh, the origin outfit from the content that I got. All right, I think I'm ready. Emperor Haterius. Oh yeah, Palico. Oh, this is what we got for presets. What is a palico? Palicos are felines that have created a pact with hunters to support them in battle. During quests, they'll assist you in many ways, like attacking monsters or gathering materials. Each hunter has their own individual palico. <laughs> oh, he's pretty evil looking. Changes the fur. Oh, nice. Fur length. Long hair. You know what, let's give him some paint too.
Oh, I just messed it up. This one just seems so much more diverse, like there's so many different things to it. I think it's the more iconic sounding too.
What's the name of Patton? Start the game with this character. So, how about a toast? <laughs> to the A list and the commission. Cheers. <laughs> <sighs> so, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. <sighs> After running the research commission for 40 odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. They say the Fifth Fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree! Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, a-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? Listen to that. <sighs> Getting rough out there. The waves are picking up. That's gotta mean landfall. You're on the A-list, right? Huh. meow do doo <laughs> I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm just climbing a wall, that's oh, cool. Hey, it's you! Look what happened to the ship! <sighs> we have to do something! It's not safe here! This way! Whoa! 
Shoot! Shoot! This way! No! The ground's moving again! We're on! I knew it! Time to hitch a ride and get off this thing! Come on! Let's go! Get a good running start, then jump! have set up this camp. I found this in the tent. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. Looks like we're right around here. The Research Commission's base of operations is here. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. For now, I think it would be best if we make our way to base. The map should help us find our way. Ancient forest. Look, the research commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. According to the map, to get to HQ, we need to. Hmm. That's not the map, this is the map. These Abdenoths seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. Abdenoths. It looks like we need to go around. are gathering vitality what a weird plant there's one over here too come on I think I found the way back to base 
I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. We can push our way through these vines. to remain hidden. I mean, he hit, he hit me immediately. Okay, clear. Let's get going while we still can. Nice. Trophy. Art of Camouflage. Hmm... I'm still... Let me down. Wait, there's something here. What is this track? There's more over there. Let's check it out. You would think I would have weapons with me of some sort if I'm going to another continent somewhere. Wow. 
Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. A stara. I like it. <laughs> the rest of the fifth are already here. You're the last to arrive. Did the other ones just get walked over on that big monster? Okay, set him down here. Take a nice Leave the tape up your shoulder. Hold still for a bit. Hey, you guys made it. Be right back. You're alive. Had it rough, huh? Hey. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> this here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible. Right? <laughs> We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring. Scholars to do the research. Technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. Welcome to Astera. Welcome to Astera. I'm glad you made it. Somehow I knew you would, though. When you've been in command as long as I have, you start to learn who's capable and who isn't. Now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I'm being pulled in about eight directions at once. We'll cover the important matters at Council, which I'll be convening once things settle down. I expect you two to be there, of course. Your reputations precede you. The guild spoke highly of you as individuals. Think what you can do as a team. And before I forget, your furry friend was looking for you. Poor thing washed up not too long ago. That's sad. Poor guy got knocked around and then could have drowned. Go ahead and have a look around Astera. A horn will sound when it's time for council. Well, off you go. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. Next is the smithy. It's this way. Over here. Hmm. You're with the Commission's Fifth Fleet, right? The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me? Not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. Here's our smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Wow! Look at this place. Wanna check it out? Toasty in here. Next up is the canteen. Let's check it out. Want to get going? The canteen? I am so there. Airship engineer. Hmm. Here. 
Over here. This here's our canteen. Hmm. Hey, over there! Calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. I got my buddy back. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea. Elder dragon. The fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group. Worthy comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts. Finally rewarded. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the Commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras's habitat. Find out what makes him tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The Fifth Banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. All right. Dismissed. Mm -hmm. Not even here a whole day and already got your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Well, let's go look into this Jagras problem. But you'll need a weapon first. Over here. There's a box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on, I'll show you the way. Head inside your room so you can grab yourself a weapon. So I got my own housing. I just got here. At least I don't have to build it up myself. What? We've placed some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. Change equipment. Different weapons offer different combat experiences. Great swords hit with devastating force, while the sword and shield allow for quick mobile flurries 
the heavy bow gun while unwieldy fires powerful blasts and so on. Choose any one weapon and take it to the field. You can visit the training area after equipping a weapon by speaking to the housekeeper in your room. There you can practice with your chosen weapon as much as you'd like. Armor sets are comprised of five pieces. Each piece offers you some amount of defense plus equipment skills to aid you in your hunts. You can mix and match pieces however you like to suit your playstyle. Use left and R. <laughs> Use L2 and R2 to view your gear stats and skills. You can save equipment loadouts to quickly switch to your favorite gear combinations. That's cool. Oh boy. A buster sword, iron katana. Very probably much going to grab that. Buster sword. A close range weapon with low mobility but powerful attacks. Iron katana. A close range weapon that facilitates fluid combos and evasion. Hunter's Knife. A close range weapon set that lets you maneuver quickly and guard against attacks. Match Slicers. Close range offensive weapons that are used to deal a rapid flurry of blows. Iron Hammer. A heavy weapon used to strike monsters at point blank range and stun them. Proto Commission Axe. A weapon that stores energy in its sword form and releases it in its axe form. Proto Iron Axe. A weapon that transforms between a long reaching axe and a powerful sword. Iron Gun Lance. A defense-oriented weapon with a variety of shell attacks. A defense-oriented weapon used to approach targets with charges and fancy footwork. Iron Lance. Metal Bagpipe. A special support weapon hunters use to gain or provide various buffs. Iron Blade. A lightweight weapon that lets you vault into the air and control kinsects. Chain Blitz. A ranged weapon that frees up movement and lets you fire a variety of ammo. Iron Assault. A ranged weapon that sacrifices mobility in exchange for powerful attacks. So that's what I was using before, I think. Iron Bow. A weapon that lets you charge up power and attack from medium range. And then the Cauldron and Maldron. I'm going to use the Iron Katana, though. Forager's luck skill increases the chance of finding rare gathering points. Awesome. Oh, that's part of my armor. It's part of my origins armor. That's awesome. So I have that equipped.
so foragers foragers luck is part of that helmet and it doesn't have anything for that Oh, I have stuff in the box. Oh, it's just everything I've been looking at. Okay. Waiting with a quest. You can get more familiar with your weapons at the training area. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. <laughs> 